One month and counting, India's second wave continues to kill. New daily infections remain well over 300,000. India's total pandemic caseload has crossed 22 million. In the last 24 hours, India reported more than 360,000 new cases. That's a dip from the previous days when daily infections had crossed the 400,000 mark. 4 lakh new infections per day. But that's hardly any relief. Because testing has also gone down in India. On Sunday, India conducted 1.47 million tests. That's the lowest this month. The daily average earlier was 1.7 million tests. So the dip in cases could be a result of fewer tests. Right now, India has more than 3.7 million active cases. 3.7 million people are currently positive in India. More than 18 million people have recovered overall. What about those who did not? Daily deaths crossed the 4,000 mark recently. India's total fatalities are now close to 250,000. As for vaccination, the progress is slow. Ten days ago, India opened its vaccination drive to all adults, everyone above the age of 18. But so far, not even 3% of the population has been fully vaccinated. Less than 10% have got the first shot. And we do know that it's a huge population to cover, more than 1.3 billion people, which is why India must move faster. The problem is, we don't have enough vaccines to go around. Look at these figures. In April, India was administering 3.5 million shots per day, 3.5 million doses every day. That was the peak. Last week, the daily average dropped to 1.9 million shots. So between the 6th of April and the 6th of May, according to one report, daily inoculations in India have dropped by 38%. Over the weekend, the central government said states will get more than 5 million doses in the next three days. But with the kind of numbers that we have, India is barely scratching the surface. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.